Hey. Hi. All right. Yeah. I'm going to act like uh, the stream has not started yet. All right. <clears throat> Doing my warm ups. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so I'll just begin. Uh, this is the Pyro Work podcast and i'm not in a glamorous background right now because my phone is about i just realized my phone is about to die and i don't have internet uh like internet internet so i can't do it on my computer so yeah um i'm ash and i'm joined with zach los is not los is not here because he is missing in action because he has not uh, responded to me all day and I feel like he's going to respond in the middle of the stream. Uh, he's probably going to try calling me. But uh, yeah, I have t I have the list of topics. So uh, <clears throat> um, to start off with big, big news. Vinny's back. Vinny's back. It's a, it's a glorious it's the best time to be alive right now you saw the new the horse. what's that you saw the new trailer where you see him yeah yeah the king the kid is the king is back king is the back. kid is hot the kid is hot <laughs> he's back um yeah it's it's by it's called shut in it's a horror movie it's by uh uh the daily wire so it's produced by ben shapiro and uh, this is uh, evidence that we're living in a simulation. Uh, COVID-19 happened. Uh, uh, Chris Chan fucked his mom. Trevor Moore of Vice Casino died in a freak accident. Now Vincent Gallo returns in a Ben Shapiro-produced movie. This is all yeah. proof of the simulation. This, all these things were not supposed to happen, but they did happen. Pretty down uh, with the simulation now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, uh, it looks. I don't know what to think of it. It looks. Uh, I don't know. I'll watch it, but I don't. It, it can be. It could be uh, an interesting movie. It could be a bad movie. Who knows? I my feeling is it's probably gonna be as good as like uh, I don't know. Like you're kind of because. Besides his directed movies, uh, he's never been in a lot of, like, he's been in a few pretty good movies, but not a lot of great movies. I mean, well, what, I haven't seen Trouble Every Day. What What else was he, like, good, in a good movie? Uh, he was in, I think, like, uh, he was, like, in, like, Essential Killing and I have oh, a right. feeling that this one, it might be as good as, like, Essential Killing or something. You think Like, so? it might be, a, like, an interesting <laughs> kind of good movie, but it won't be, like, an amazing movie kind of, like... Yeah, probably. But I think he'll, I think he'll actually be really good in it. So, yeah, just you... the type of character that he's playing that says he's, uh... Your daughter is very pretty, you know? It, yeah, he's, like playing it says he's playing like uh like a drug addict or something yeah like a deranged drug addict so i think he might i think he'll pull it off Very i think nice. he'll pull it off i think he'll like most movies he's in he'll be the uh he'll be the best part of it yeah 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 but uh the director has directed uh, uh i don't remember his name but he directed disturbia and triple x3 <laughs> and uh, what was the other movie he Oh, uh, didn't he do? I think he did uh, that new Oceans Eleven or Oceans whatever. That's. With the broads, and like yeah, so. I think he did. He I think he directed the. Or no, 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 he didn't direct that. I'm sorry. The main chick in the movie is in that movie. 
says I forgot. Yeah, I think she's one of the broads or something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what to think of it. It's a Daily Wire movie. I've never seen any of their movies, but I've seen like trailers <laughs> from the movies, and they just look like really. A lot of them look like bad letter, uh, not letterbox, red box movies, like uh, weird straight to DVD or like made for TV type movies. Um, but this one actually looks a lot uh, better quality than a lot of their movies. And actually, it looks a lot better quality than a lot of, uh, a lot of like in, indie horror movies that have been coming out and stuff. It actually looks like they put a lot of like effort like into it. Or shit. How do you feel about A twenty four? As a setup? I, uh, I, I like some of their movies. I don't like everything they make, but I like A twenty four movies. Like some. Uh, I'm not one of those people that fucking uh, thinks they're the greatest thing of all time, and every movie they make is, you know, a ten out of ten. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I like some A twenty four movies. I don't. I don't know. I'm not someone who. Uh, um, simps over a movie studio or a company, like you got you got those like Criterion people, or that they that they like every movie Criterion puts out, no matter what it is. Um, right. I'm not I'm not that kind of person. I don't really I don't really care. That's why like this movie, I don't give a shit. It's by the Daily Wire. I don't care that uh uh the movie Whiplash is a Blumhouse movie i really that's still a like little weird movie. to think about though yeah with flash being a blast movie is really weird but like at the same it shows that like it doesn't really matter like what kind of movie yeah uh, i don't know it doesn't matter what studio puts it out like so yeah it's more about the people actually like creating it and stuff is what matters not who uh you know put the money into it but uh yeah uh so, uh, yeah. Uh, do you have anything else to say about it? I just think it's pretty cool that, like, this is what he chooses. And it's, like, not yeah. some like, big grand art picture or it's not him finally releasing uh, promises or anything. It's just this. Now, do you think... I have a feeling he's going to... There's a There is a uh, meme about... Uh... Promises Written in Water being released as an NFT. Yeah. And I have a feeling one of these days, if not even soon, he's going to do something like that. For sure. I have a feeling he's going to like auction the movie for like a shit ton of money. And, yeah, and he's going to donate it to fucking Donald Trump or something. <laughs> yeah. Something cool, something good that everyone should do. And yeah. Yeah. He's going to do, I, I, I think it's going to see light, the light of day. For sure, but I don't know when. Um, uh, but yeah, then there's that other movie, uh, April, which I don't even know if that's even like. Uh, I almost think it. It almost sounds like cause I've seen it. Like I think only like a couple quotes and different things where he's talked about it. There's not very much information, and it sounds like it's a. a my impression of it, it sounds like it's like an un finished movie or something or scrapped it just sounded movie. like a little scrapped little short film deal yeah because uh th there's some uh, old porn actor in it that like died no sylvester like, think, like, kid who was it sylvester. no no, no. What's no it was uh that's promises written in water are you sure the one was in it. yeah damn april has uh I forgot the guy's name. He is an old porn actor, and I think he like I think he died in the middle of filming or something. He died. I read of something. I think that's he, why uh, he didn't release any of it or like do anything else with it. Yeah. So, yeah, and that that's the impression I get because I if you read like I think he on his website he even puts it as like a, a like a movie he made like finished and has the runtime feature like movie but i don't know if it's actually a finished movie or not hmm. like he's never really talked about he's never really like talked about it like or anything like i've heard him talk about promises run water and stuff but i've never he never really like talks like acknowledge kind of acknowledges it or anything it's kind of weird it's just uh, but the thing is he might have like movies like that that we just don't know about just he's never even announced or anything just weird 
Like, yeah. Shit. Uh, I believe it. Yeah. But uh, he's like Prince, because Prince, where he made a bunch of shit, but didn't necessarily announce it or anything. Right. And so he has like albums, even like movies he's made, even with like big budgets that he never like and even plan on releasing to the public or anything. So, yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, Vincent Gallo. Uh, uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, this is kind of old news, but uh, I just saw some other. I was, just, I, I was just on my phone, and I don't. I've been trying my hardest and to avoid. Like I'm, I'm very burnt out on. I'm very burnt on social media in general, but especially things that involve the news. I, I'm, I'm annoyed. Like I, I I'm sick of it. I try avoiding it, but like I accidentally, cause I've been, I've had, you know, a, a smart phone, you know, everybody's had a phone or our generation's had like phones for so long. That's just fucking like, we don't even, when we like, ch- like, you know, check Instagram, it's not even, we don't even give it much thought. We just like, we're not even like conscious of it. It was just so messed up. So I just will just read random fucking like articles. Or like headlines and not even thinking about it because I'm so routinely for sure to same it. everyone yeah yeah and fucking uh, I was just reading some shit and I uh, okay uh, mm. Seth Rogen um, now it was like a few weeks ago or something he uh, uh, <laughs> he uh, made a he had a uh, back and forth with Casey I don't know how nice dad. Nestat, nice that yeah he had a back and forth with him because this casey was talking about how his car got stolen or not stolen uh broken into uh vandalized and stuff i think and right and mad. his kids like and, birthday pinata yeah 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 and uh he was mad and he called la a shithole and then seth rogan's like like I, sometimes i can do a good seth rogan impression but sometimes i can't <laughs> that was pretty I, good brutalize it or i i nail it it's like uh bill burr is the same way i can sometimes do a perfect bill burr impression but sometimes i can't but like seth rogan was like (laughs) 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 and pretty much tell him told him that uh he told him that uh there's like nothing to worry about like he's being like he's being too dramatic and that uh, it doesn't matter if your car gets broken into because who cares? Uh, he's like, it's not, yeah, it's not like an extension of yourself. You shouldn't view it as an extension. And then he's all like, uh, he said, yeah, sometimes uh, people, uh, when they break in my car, they leave cool things behind. I got a cool knife. Yeah. And I don't, it's just fucking like this dumb. And, he has rich guys in. Yeah. yeah. And then I started reading. So I was talking about earlier about the how I just come across these articles because uh, I think like it was today or just I don't know how old the articles are. They we're talking about something about uh, I don't know some is it some award show or Matt and Gal? I don't know one of those fucking rich right. elite show things or party. I don't know. Uh, he was taught. This, it was just all these headlines about how Seth Rogen appeared at this award show and uh, and has a quote by him like, I was so high, I didn't even know what was Adele. going on. Adele yeah. at some like shitty Adele show. <laughs> yeah. Watching her sing about her dog. Because I've had I've 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 had a distaste for him for a while, but that, that thing about the car uh thing uh made me hate him even more, but then I just saw these, like, yeah, the articles pop up the Adele thing. It just made me even more. I'm like, I'm sick of this guy, man. Like, this is, like, it's... And Seth Rowan's tone, I never was a fan of. Uh, I liked like, a couple of his movies a long time ago. Uh, but now, like, the only, the only one I really liked was super bad, but now, like, I, I, like, usually when people come up to me, or people talk to me, they're like, 
uh, you know, you like Seth Rogen movies? I'm like, no, not so much. But I do really like Super Bad. But now I don't, I don't know if I can. I mean, I it's one of those movies where I can't really watch it again because it's been referenced to death. It's been, it's one of those famous movies that it's like there's no point in watching it because like it's been referenced and talked about to death. Kind of like Ghostbusters or like uh, I don't know, like uh yeah ghost for the future or something like that but uh yeah and sure. but i don't know if i can even watch that movie again like it, i like like this is little this is little like antics and things he said he, he says and like it's just like his person and then his later movies the thing about his later movies i'm just like i i don't know man i don't know if i can watch that movie again i it's just, it's just, his, uh, it's not even just Seth Rogen too. It's just that, that whole group of dudes that I just can't, I, I mean, I've never been a fan of like any of them, but I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't, suck. I can't watch anything like with any, the Apatow kind of gang. And sh- I can't, I can't do it. Yeah. It's garbage. It's yeah. trash. You shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Do something good for yourself. Go outside or some, you know. Yeah. Eat some veggies. I watched. Okay, this is funny. Uh, it was probably like a, it was earlier this year. Uh, I bought. Um, sometimes I go to uh, local, uh, like I don't know, like thrift stores and different things, and so you can get movies for like a dollar, and uh, like one dollar Blu-rays. And I got. Uh, uh, I bought some. It was like movies I. It was a lot of movies I was kind of interested in seeing, but never had like a huge urge to watch it. But I was like, yeah, it's a dollar, why not? And so, right. uh, and I sold a lot of them for. A, I got my money back pretty much, and I got a dollar back. And one of them was uh, "This Is the End," the one. Yeah, yeah, I bought it for a like a dollar, and then uh, because people kept telling me that, oh my god, like over the years. Oh my God! It is. Oh no 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 no! It, it's different. This one's different. It's it's hilarious. No, this is different. They're making fun of themselves. No, it's meta. Like uh, people have been telling me that over the years. And so it was like, it was like a dollar. So why not? I'll just buy it for a dollar. And I watched it, and uh, I didn't hate it, but I just. Uh, yeah, I was just like, eh, whatever. And then I sold it for a dollar. So I got my money back, my one dollar back. Uh, one bit in that movie, if we're thinking of the same one, I think we are, that yeah. made me F, I will admit. And I think it's just like that one like black guy from The Office pissing in his own face. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I first saw that, I got a pretty, I got a chuckle. Yeah, there is like a... A couple, like a few moments like that. I, I didn't like. Uh, uh, what I didn't like about that movie was, um, I didn't like that one guy, the guy that was like the, he was the one that ended up being like the good guy that left them or something. The world's ending. I forgot. Like that guy, I couldn't stand. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There, those movies. Uh, like uh they're very um you know what I'm like it's weird this is gonna be weird to to describe yeah, yeah. but you you know where I'm going. Those movies are like when you come when you meet people, you you know if they like like his his movies and stuff. Like there's those t- certain type of people you you just know. Like Seth Rogen movies, like and it's not just stoners. It's a lot usually stoners, okay. but there's also people that may not be stoners, but kind of stoners, who like them. And they're with a certain type of person. It's not necessarily a person I hate or anything, uh, but there's a lot of like, like there is movies are very appealing to like West, like West Coast, like stoner. Like, but like, not like, uh, don't any stoner, they like, but like, aesthetic. but like, you're, uh, like, you're, uh, like, 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 high, like, uh, I don't want to use the word normie, but kind of, you're normie stoner. His movies are 
you're like West Coast Norway stoner who uh, says um, like hella a lot and listens to Travis Scott. Well, stuff. I say hella a lot, but I don't listen to Travis. But you're Californian. But yeah. I'm just saying there's that type. It's a specific type of person. I've known a lot of people like that. And some people I just really, I don't like hate or anything, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's very appealing to that group. Uh, it's something I've noticed. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's funny because a long time ago, his like earlier movies were very appealing to uh, like uh, like 30 to 40 year old people, like Gen Xers stuff like i remember like like that age group like a lot of his earlier movies were very appealing but then over the years it just became like i don't know like millennials and zoomers and stuff right yeah that smoke that's smoke weed all day and make it their entire personality like seth rogan right and make uh and make shitty vases <laughs> so yeah i don't know i'm gonna move on uh I'm gonna move on from Seth Rogen because uh, I don't I don't think we should <laughs> anyone should talk about Seth Rogen for more than ten minutes. Absolutely, it's not worth it. Uh, this is uh, this is when I get into uh, my Zen uh, uh, part of the podcast or stream. Uh, my because uh, I've been this like past year I've been. Uh, I've been like a, I'm like a wise sage now. I'm a sage. Like I became I've like I became really uh I think because I went through a lot of bullshit like the last couple of years and I've uh I've became wise because of it. Right. Uh you know, like stuff that uh Jordan Peterson kind of talks about but he probably learned in the span of 15 years. I learned it in the span of five months, which makes me okay. cooler. But uh, all right, <clears throat> the first, the first, the first thing I'm going to talk about uh, is uh, uh, something I've uh, noted. Well, something I've always known, but a lot of people don't want to admit. Uh, this is something that needs to be said. Uh, this is a truth. And if you're a woman, uh, try your hardest. Uh, if you're if you're a woman, I don't think women listen to this. But if you're a woman, uh, try your hardest not to say anything or flinch or anything. Just listen to what I have to say because you're programmed to react to this uh, in that in a that way. Uh, which is women like conflict. Um. All women like conflict. Now, if you're like a woman that listens to this and you're and when you when you heard me say that and you're like, oh but 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 my point is proven. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're the ones that are sitting here, you know, didn't react to it, uh just was listening, yeah. then yeah, yeah, then good for you. Uh, now I made this uh, post on Facebook, and I got a lot of comments that were like, "Fuck no!" Like, what are you talking about? And, I, and it was all by women too. It was never guys. And I was like, that proves my point. Because um, uh, women like conflict. Uh, this is something that uh, uh, a lot of people don't want to admit, and it's something that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, now men, uh, there's a, there's a stereotype that men are all about, uh, like actually about conflict and about fighting and like challenge and all this stuff. But, and then women are like the, the mediators, uh, like if there's like two dudes fighting they're like, stop it, stop guys. But, uh. In my experience in life, uh, this is, uh, I think women like to conflict more than men do. Uh, I think men uh, would rather uh, 
not conflict. Uh, men don't really like drama. Um, they like to be left alone and men like to be left alone and focusing on something that entertains them. Uh, it could be a video game. It could be them fixing a car. It could be uh, any talent. Yeah. Women don't, they, they don't focus, they don't have that uh, type of brain. So they, uh, they're always in a mode where they either have to be uh, when they don't have children, they're, they're, just, in a multi- you know, they're yeah. usually in a multitasking mode and um, at all times. And so in that multitasking mode, they might uh, try interacting with people. It, 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 if they're more uh, introverted, uh, they're still in that multitasking mode, but they still have that itch for, uh, yeah, they, they, they like um, to be entertained as well. All human beings like to be entertained. And so, but their sense of entertainment is uh, uh, manipulation of uh, either like thoughts, stories. Uh, it could be drama. It could be uh, it could be gossiping. It could be it could even be something positive, like talking about my kids and how great they are, or talking about something happy. Doesn't matter. Uh, men don't, they don't really like to talk about any, generally don't like to talk about any of those things. They don't care. Uh, they just want to be left alone and, uh, and they want to be left alone and <laughs> jerking off. Or they, uh, even if they do have like a friend or a hangout, uh, they don't talk about any of those things. They just talk about stupid bullshit like we're doing right now. Right. Um, women would not do a podcast like like this, there'd be no way that any of these topics would come up ever. Um, uh, so yeah, when we're like, I don't know where my point is, but I'm just saying women like conflict. Uh, yeah, when we like conflict, uh, they're programmed to like it. Uh, they're programmed because they're nurturers, so they're programmed to defend, either defend their loved ones or themselves. Yeah, there you go. There's my little uh, point. Uh, now, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, yeah, basically just that, like, I'm I'm reminded day and day again, or whatever, that's not a phrase, that I'm just, like, a total chick. Because, like, I love, like, drama and, like, fucking, like... I do, too. Flatten. What? I said I I like uh, drama. I like conflict, but uh, my sense of conflict is in a ma- uh, masculine way. I don't really now. When when I say I like conflict too, there's another thing. Uh, women uh, are pass- uh, if they're annoyed at something, they become passive aggressive and have a lot of microaggressions. Um, men tend to not uh, really be passive aggressive around microaggressions. They usually either not say anything or they might say something right away and that's it. Uh, but women like the microaggressions because it gives them entertainment of the day. They love it. it it's, it's, it's little games. They like little uh, game microaggression games. And that's why women, women know too that all men have Asperger's and they use that as an advantage. Like if they do something that if the man does something that makes them mad, they'll try doing little microaggressions to get in their head and fuck with them because they know that uh, they're so- socially retarded because all men are socially retarded <laughs> and have Asperger's. All women are just basically like fucking with retards all the time. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. I said that a long time ago too. I, I said... uh I remember I made a post a long time. I actually got a lot of likes and people, a lot of people agreed. Or I, I did say all men have Asperger's. Uh, if you, I, I believe that Asperger's is just, you're just diagnosed with being a man because you're socially retarded. You like, you have, you have certain interests that you know like a lot of things about and you don't give a shit about talking about, uh, a lot of men don't really like talking about mundane uh, things about uh 
like people like, do you know what so-and-so did yesterday? Or, uh, yeah, things like that. They just like, they're, they're usually, uh, if they talk about something, it's usually some very specific, like a, like a certain topic or something. Uh, and a lot of times it relates to their interests. And so, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, um, anyways, next, uh, thing I'm going to talk about, uh, is, um, actually I'm going to get, I'm actually going to go to the other topic because it kind of, it's a good follow up to this one, uh, which is, uh, don't, so there's people out there that like um create <sighs> there's people out there that like uh there's guys out there like they're like i want i want a crazy girlfriend i want someone wild uh and then there's uh girls that are like i want i oh he's scary oh he's sexy he's scary he's he's like he's like uh really aggressive and like ooh, like he could beat me up and uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm. Uh, this is my advice. If you want someone like that, um, which is, uh, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't. It's not for you. You might be saying, "Well, I can handle that. I can handle that person. It's, it's okay. I, I can pull up. I'm just not gonna take them that seriously. Uh, the, 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 the sex will be great. It'll be amazing." Um, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you right now. And no, you you don't want that. Uh, uh, a crazy girl or uh, a scary guy is fun. Are you sure I you, don't? A, a crazy girl and a scary guy is fun till they ruin your life. Mm. And you might be like, oh yeah, I want. I there's I see these like comments from these like dudes who are like. Well, there's the I can save her meme for people with I can save her. But then there's like the ones who are not, not being funny, not even trying to be funny. They're actually serious. They're like, oh, man, I, I, I would uh, I let her ruin my life. Oh, my God. I would. I would yeah, like that's let me. Her, I would let her. Oh, I, 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 I'd cut off my left foot to be with her. I'd let. I'd let her stomp on my ball. Like, you why see you, this why are you talking about it? Like you're talking to me. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see these things and uh, it's, 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 uh, it's just, uh, it's something, it's, it's something you just don't want to do. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like when someone's telling someone that they're like, I'm going to kill myself. And then someone's like, you know, no, don't do it. And then the person who wants to kill themselves, they're like, it, it seems rational. It seems at that moment they're like, oh yeah, yeah, this actually makes sense, but it's not, it's not a good idea. It's not good. Right. It's Next not, thing you know, you got good. a hole in your cheek. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Um, even if, uh, yeah, this is not good at all. And this is not good. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. And I know this from, uh, experience, uh, I was I had that same mentality and have uh I, I hooked up girls that were like that. The, Did you hate yourself girl, at the time? The crazy girl or the broken girl. Oh and it's a fucking mistake. Uh I fucking hate every one of them and I wish I never even met them. Uh <laughs> they they will ruin your life. You when you after you date you have to restructure your entire worldview because of them well get specific though <laughs> they uh uh so i'm just gonna talk about my ex um because yeah, I, I have a lot of story because i dated her for a long time actually it was on and off for a long time uh she uh and it was one of those weird things too i never noticed uh i don't like talking about her like people have been like for some reason like asking me about her like what happened to her what happened? Like, I haven't seen her around that much. Like, yeah, because fucking whatever. I don't know. It's annoying. But I want to talk about it because it relates to the topic. 
so a long time ago, um, in the late 2010s, I my thing, my thing was uh, uh, I like all the girls I like are either broken or or like fucked up and weird. That was the only thing I liked. I never wanted uh, someone that was mentally stable or anything. And I was probably uh, how old are you? Sixteen. Okay. A little no, maybe no. So around when I was like eighteen to twenty, uh, maybe no, maybe seven, no, like seventeen to twenty. Um, I was uh, that was my thing. That was the only thing I liked. Uh, <laughs> was bro- broke. Then say gals broken down girls. And he right said, before like, they go into the mental hospital, right? <laughs> yeah. And he says, uh, like, it's like Howard Stern says, says, to save them? He's like, no, to take advantage of <laughs> But that was my mentality. Even the attitude, that was my attitude. That was my mentality. Right. Uh, that's why I, I related that so much because it just reminded me a long time ago. Uh, so that was my mentality. Uh, so anyways, um, yeah, I met someone and... Uh, uh, I met I, there's a few other girls that uh, are related or were kind of were like that, but my uh, only actual long term uh, relationship was like that, and uh, um, yeah, and so uh, yeah, you know there was moments where it was like normal and stuff and good, but. Uh, it's, there's a lot of stuff I didn't realize till like a- afterwards. I was like, oh wow, like there was so many. There was like 55 red flags all along. And I think at the time I knew there were red flags, but I was like, either I didn't care because I know what I you were wanted, living a dream, or, or I was like, uh, I was like, oh yeah, red flag, ooh, you know, and but uh, anyways, um. It's funny because uh, she did actually go to a mental hospital, <laughs> and that that was actually kind of how it ended. That's how it actually kind of oh, ended. The relationship God. ended, and uh, so, anyways, I'm just gonna tell the kind of the story. So, I'll talk about the red flags first. So, the red flags. Um, I knew when I first met her. I didn't know. Like, I it was kind of one of those things. Like a little later, like a couple dates later where I kind of got the I knew what this type of person was and I was like and I think that what I made it made me like them even more they're like ooh they're kind of uh they're kind of the uh what she if you just go on Instagram right now we're probably following you probably have a ton of people following us that are exactly like this uh the girl is like oh she's kind of uh she's kind of, she's broken but she's kind of artsy but uh she uh she likes a lot of the cool music I like and stuff. And uh, anyways, so that I can think of like person, five right now, but yeah. Yeah. And, but then when you get deeper, there's like more like uh, things to them. Like the narcissism uh, so, or like mental, like severe mental illness or, but in a way where it's like destructive, not like something. No, like actually like, like shitty bed. Yeah. Not just like hot. Like, yeah girl interrupted type shit yeah and she was very uh night naive and uh very naive and to the point where she did tell me a story that she, she didn't know santa claus wasn't real till she was like 14 or 15 or something insane yeah that was a red flag uh and she's told me that and uh she uh uh yeah, I don't know. It was fine for the most part, but there's a lot of red flags. Like she even told me, like I, she said a bunch of time. I just kind of ignored it and laughed it off. But it, she just said like, it's like, like five, probably like five times, to, like set, like told me how sexist I am. Like you're such a sexist. And I was like, yeah, just like saying she was very uh, liberal. Well, she was okay. from uh, California as well originally, and so she. 
Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, and sees all the colonies. Like I always said, I was sexist. I, I can never fucking make jokes about anything, and they weren't even like edgy jokes either. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of red flag. Like if you can't just make non-edgy jokes, then there's a red. There's like a problem. Like uh, yeah, every time I said a girl was like, if we were watching a movie, I said that character was annoying. It was a girl. She's saying, yeah, you, you're saying that because you're sexist. Like, it's like, you just have so much sexism. I remember one time I, uh, uh, I showed her, um, oh, she's all like, she was saying how, you know, this is funny. This is the thing we did. We, we watched a lot of movies and I would, I had my letterbox watch list that I just put on shuffle mode. And that's how we watched movies. That's how we picked a movie. And, uh, she saw all the, uh, she was looking at a list or something. Like I sort of like on my computer or something. And she's like, Wow, this is a lot of guy movies. Like, wow, this is a lot of guy movies, which is really funny because there's a lot of uh, chick kind of movies on there. But she just pointed out, like, wow, it's not guy movies, right? Guy movies. Yeah, and I think I knew what it was. I figured out what it was. I think uh, she wanted, I think, like a a Prince Charming type. I think she never, she never had a really, like, uh, well, she's probably, like, had, like, um, I don't know, like, flings and shit, but never had an actual relationship for this, and it, that's the huge impression I got, and I think she wanted, she met somebody she really liked, but wanted, like, a Prince, Prince Charming, not Prince Charming type, but, like, the cute, the ultimate cute boy, sweet, right. wholesome boy, and I think she got bits of it, but I think she, she realized that I, I still have that side of me that's like not that at all. And I'm just and I'm just being myself too, but I think that's kind of what what it was. And uh yeah. Uh anyways, this red flags like that. Uh she was an alcoholic. Um yeah, she's like uh I remember like uh yeah, she was like just throw up a bunch of times and like uh it was always too when there was if you, it, either if it was my family or her family doing something, she would get really drunk and like throw up like every time, like on purpose. And interesting, and, yeah. And uh, she, uh, uh, yeah, she would uh cry all the time, but like cry about like really weird, like uh, uh. She would just randomly cry. Like, we would be, like, totally fine. She would just cry and then say, we're all going to die one of these days. <laughs> she cries, we're nice. all going to die one of these days. Nice. <laughs> I bet all of this, I bet all, all of this is a huge turn on for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm but she's like the perfect, she sounds like the perfect issues. girl. Why is she so bad? I don't get it. She sounds great. <laughs> but it's the point where it, it, all this stuff it was not like a few times it was like almost every fucking right time. it's not whiffs all of crazy things. now and again it's full crazy and then i think i just put up with it because i i didn't think much of it because i was it was like in the moment but then retrospect but then she went to a mental hospital. anyways the wrap of the story is going for too long uh she went to a mental hospital uh for various things um like uh depression uh eating disorders and stuff like that um then uh so she was in there for a long time and then she uh then i met her uh i met her uh actually when she wasn't in the hospital but she when uh she was um i forgot i i've never been into uh treatments like that but like uh where she was like living with these people it's kind of like what uh not halfway houses, but it was kind of like halfway houses. You know, like drug addicts where they like live in like a park, like other people. Okay, yeah, I kind of get what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, um, and uh, uh, and I remember, oh, before that, like the last time we saw each other uh, before that, uh, she accidentally tripped in public and I had laughed because it was like such a comedic trip. And I said, are you okay? And she... Uh, she just is like, hmm. like pouty at me and then uh, texted me like, 
you know, like those memes where like people are like writing a bunch of emojis, like they're being sarcastic about something. Okay. You know, yeah, like yeah. she she did that to me, and she's all like, she's like, wow, like, uh, thank you for uh, thank you for laughing at me. You're such a you're such a bad boy. You're so like mocking at me, passive aggressively, and uh, and then. Uh, yeah, and uh, and then uh, she um, uh, so anyway, when she went to the hospital that one time after it, uh, she uh, this is when um, the uh, the COVID like ma- not when it started, not when the mask thing started, but like right like right before when it, like it was slowly kind of starting, and uh, she uh, I uh, we went into a, a mall and. Uh, uh, she's all like, uh, this is when there was like no mandate or anything. And, uh, she's like, um, uh, she's all like, uh, like, Oh, I forgot my mask. We need our mask. And I'm like, I just said, Oh, I think uh, now we'll be, we'll be fine or whatever. I just said, we'll be fine. She looked at me like, what? and then the rest of the day it was fine, but she just had this like energy after I said that, like, like, I don't know, man. I Like, I could tell you reading her, like, I don't know, like, this person, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can put up with any more. And then, uh, and then, like, uh, a few months later or whatever, um, uh, we, we talked on the phone and stuff, and uh, um, she was all, like, normal and happy. I was like, oh, I'll see you and stuff. And then uh, this year, fast forward, uh, because the beginning of the year, she tried making plans. She didn't even like answer her phone, nothing. And I was like, "Am yeah, fuck her. I don't even care anymore. I'm not. I'm just gonna ignore her." And uh, and I ignored her forever. And then for a long time. Uh, and then she like like in September, yeah, like in September, she like contacted me again, and she's all like, "Oh, like uh, she was explaining that her." Uh, which I guess this is, I don't even know if this is actually even true. I think it's just an excuse. I don't know. She said her friend died. Her more close friends uh, uh, died. And, uh, and that's why she didn't call or anything. And then a month after that, uh, she didn't, of course, she just disappeared. Didn't say anything. Didn't call or anything. And then uh, I, I drunk texted her and i said that uh because like i drunk texted her saying that uh it was like by impulse uh i actually was like in a good mood i was in a happy drunk mood but i, I my head I was like huh this will be funny because i was just texting random people when i was drunk and so, like just random stuff because it would be funny if i told her that uh that uh i forgot what i said like i don't uh, it would be funny if I just gaslight her and sort of say like she doesn't like she doesn't care about me anymore and so this would be funny. Like like th- I was thinking of something to piss her off or something. I thought that if I was drunk, I'm like this would be funny. And uh she actually responded and she sounds sincere and then she was like, Oh, I'll see you on your birthday and stuff. And then I was like, Okay, but are you actually gonna do it? I don't think you are gonna do it. I think you're full of shit. I actually called her out and said, I think you're full of shit. I'm tired of this shit. And she said, she just said, and this is the weird thing too. Before this, before that, she was talking about uh, uh, when she contacted me again, uh, the messages were romantic and sexual. And, uh, and so I just, I didn't think much of it. I was like, okay, whatever. Like, this is just where we left off. And then she's all, uh, oh, yeah. By the way, I'm involved with somebody. <laughs> By the way, just had to throw that out there. And I was like, it, it was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, I, I kind of, I kind of figure it out. I don't, this is the thing, too. I don't, I don't really, it's one of those things where I didn't really care because I stopped caring about her. There's a point where I was like, I don't even care what her life is like right now. Like earlier this year, I was like that. I was like, hey, I'm just doing my own thing. I don't need her. She's just like always being flaky and just. And then I, that's earlier this year too. All the points I've been talking about, like you know, about her, the red flags. 
I just kind of got, that's when I kind of fully realized, I was like, yeah, I should avoid this person. And so, uh, and then, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I said, I said really nasty things to her. And I just, I just kind of, I, cause I, I was already calling her out, but then I just ended where Sounds I just had to wrap, wrap up. Hurt you. Wrap, I had to wrap up my call outs. Cause right. what I, what I got hurt by was not, it was actually not even she was involved with somebody. Uh, cause I didn't give a shit. It's this long line, this, this game where she d- disappears and comes back and is like, Oh, like, I like you. Like almost getting in my head to like, like me like her again and stuff and then uh this is what I was talking about how men are fucking socially retarded I, I was socially retarded and got into it and um and this whole idea of just even like the red flags and like all that stuff I, and that's what i think kind of hurt me because i just felt like i wasted my time even like thinking about her just wasting my time like for so like year like three years either with her or just thinking about her so i think that's what what kind of is what kind of hurt what hurt me the most it wasn't even that she was involved with somebody because if she just told me that like a long time ago like yeah i'm involved with somebody i'd be like yeah whatever okay don't care anymore i I stopped caring so i don't really care but it's this idea of the whole like game like oh you know oh like yeah just gaslighting for as much and so that's what made me mad because I don't like that in general. I, that's why I don't like with people. Uh, that's what makes me mad about people when they like lie to me or like play play me like a like a fill. Like, just like you know, I just hate that shit. And so yeah, I said a lot of really nasty things. <laughs> that was the last thing I just said really nasty things, mm. and uh, just finished my thoughts about her. And yeah, that's it. That was it. <laughs> well, it's right now, what do you? I, you don't. I don't imagine you wish her like poor things necessarily, or do you? No, I just don't care. You don't I don't care. know. It, it's um, I I think too because I never really um, like we had a little uh, spout like. Like what I was talking about with um, the sexist thing or the thing, the incident where she fell and she became passive aggressive. We had little things like that, but uh, I never, like, I might have said something back, but I've never been, like, nasty. Like, sure. I've never, and I don't really do that with people in general. I, do, I usually try not to do that because uh, it just makes me look, I, I, I don't know. It's more of a thing where I don't, want people to get the best of me kind of thing so I don't want to say something really like aggressive or out there because they might feed off of that and make and it'll just make things worse kind of thing but uh this instant I just felt like I had to say it something because I was too and like the last like year I was like way too nice to her like I put up where I, I was secretly annoyed that she was like ignoring me and stuff but I I was like oh it's okay it's fine I kind of became simpy almost I became a little simpy and so a tale as old as time yeah yeah and so i was like fuck it i i I just have to fucking i felt like i was the right thing just to say something like just say stuff that's might catch her off guard like holy shit like this is show hey i'm fucking pissed off i'm annoyed at you like i was saying i think i even i told her too that if you uh would have said something a long time ago about it yeah i that's not her being in relationship is not the reality I want. I wanted. It's not the the reality I wanted. But I would have not really been explosively mad. I would have just not cared because I was at a point earlier this year and last year where I was uh, at a not caring point. And if right. I was at that, she said something at that point, I would have been like, yeah, whatever. But I, I it's just that. Uh, yeah, I just exploded, and yeah, I just kind of exploded, exploded at her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't expect to talk about that for that long, but I did. I no, fucking... no, it's natural. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't like, I. this is actually, it felt good talking about it, because it's the only time I think I've ever talked about it in kind of a more, a calmer 
way. Like when people, I usually am very short with it or uh, very like, um, oh yeah, I don't want to talk about fucker, fucker. And then it just kind of ends right there. But I, yeah, now I talked about it out loud in a more calm, like, way. It's interesting that you do it on, like, a recorded thing, though. I wonder if there's a something there, psychological. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. Well, I don't care. I can talk. I don't care about uh, talking about my personal, personal life online in general. So. Like, I'll talk about anything. I talk about, like, childhood stories and stuff. Like, I don't really care. Because a lot of people don't like that because it makes them uncomfortable, but I don't really care. And I don't care, too, because, uh, like, uh, the stories I was telling you about her and stuff, like, I would never talk about this stuff online because I know it would be kind of dickish, but uh, I don't really care that I told all this stuff because it's just, like, whatever, like... Yeah, you know, I don't know. Not necessarily she deserves it, but I don't. Uh, yeah, it's so like then don't, you know, like if she. I don't think she. She doesn't watch my videos or anything. Uh, as, of late, as of lately, she doesn't. And uh, uh, I. I think. Um, I don't care. I don't care if she sees it. Me talking about it. I don't care because it's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If when someone does something that's very like rude or dishonest or something like that, I, I don't mind talking about it publicly. I don't care. Like then just don't do it to somebody ever again. That's the lesson. It's kinda of like an embarrassed like exposure thing. I don't know. I don't know. Um but anyways, following up with that which actually kind of relates to at the end what I was talking about. Uh, something I've been doing after all a lot of shit. It wasn't after all this shit either with her or just a bunch of other stuff too. Um, kind of b- bullshit is uh, uh, I've been uh, self-improving myself. Uh in almost every facet, and uh, not just that, but I think I'm going to talk about uh, basically how you can do it. Uh, Now, I don't suggest, um, you should hear my advice first, don't go, the first people you should not go to is like Jocko Wheelink or uh, Joe Rogan, uh, definitely don't fall, don't, because they'll just tell you, uh, just drink some green juice, $15 green juice, or, uh, yeah, just, uh, hit these, uh, uh, $350 kettlebells you can get off this, uh, website, or, yeah, just do some CBD, or, yeah. Bathe in uh, bowl semen for, like, five weeks (laughs) straight. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm gonna, uh, all right, this is my basic... This is how you can improve yourself in a very basic way. Uh, okay, this is what I've been doing. Um, dieting. Now, uh, this one is going to be kind of hard, especially uh, either cut out completely or cut out most of caffeine because... Uh, caffeine, uh, I, I think I have a theory too, I just realized, because I, I, I used to drink a lot of caffeine when I was younger and stuff, and I think I realized, uh, that's the reason why I had so many anxiety problems, and I think that's why a lot of people have anxiety problems, and I think that's why, like, I, I, uh, work with other people and stuff, and, you know, a lot of people, for their jobs, they work with other people, a lot of people drink coffee, or they drink energy drinks, and, that's why a lot of people seem fucking, like, I just realized how pe- people seem fucking, like, crazy and stuff, and, like, very high-strung, very, like, I, like, see, co- like, people either I work with or, like, at other jobs where they're, like, they're, like, you see them, like, because uh, 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 they're fucking on so much caffeine that it's fucking, like, making them into a weird, like, 
their speech like, meth, like, messed out zombie yeah, or yeah. something. They're all like fuck, like fucked up, and you can tell like even physically, a lot of people just look older than they should be because I think they drink so much caffeine over the years that it's fucked it's fucked them up. And uh, so yeah, dieting and uh, just, uh, you don't have to go like hardcore like. I'm just gonna fast for uh, five weeks, like Kevin Smith did. That's why he looked like he was dying. That's all he—he he didn't eat any food. He just drank liquids, and and not not that shit. Just balanced this this balanced diet. Uh, two is exercising, and this one's important, I think, too, for men when they hit their twenties. Uh, well, especially thirties is when you should really work on this if you haven't. Uh, exercising. This doesn't have to be. Listen, you don't have to listen to uh, Jocko Willink or uh, you don't have to listen to David Goggins. David Goggins like fucking uh, works out till he gets injured. Uh, you don't have to do that shit, but just basic workout. Uh, um, I think it's important to get a uh, high 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 tea when you're in your twenties and thirties because you'll eventually become a fucking man baby. And I'm not saying just like feminine. I'm saying like sat. Not not in like I've seen dudes who are like, well, I want to be like I want to be more like feminine and like I want to be. Uh, they think in their heads they'll be like like fem boys. You can't tell if they're a girl or not. That's what they think in their head. But in reality, they'll just be so like the soy boys or the fucking like they'll be this the they'll be that guy. That's the reality. They're not going to be a cute, girly femboy. That that's not going to happen. That's that's all not those gonna... femboys and shit. They like work out though. They like go to. They the work out. That's the thing. I've seen dudes. I've seen dudes who are like, oh, I'm not going to do this and this. They they think if they do feminine things, they'll become a femboy. That's not the case. You have to. Femboys are usually in shape. Uh, femboys and a lot of people who are uh, in uh, modeling. And probably Vincent Gall is probably like this too. I've actually heard him in interviews for talking about his diet and stuff. Right. Those people definitely poop out diarrhea every time. Like their diet is fucking like just like sludge. And so if you want to have that perfect like skinny petite body, you, you have to tone body. You, that's what you have to do. But you don't have to do that. Uh, but if you want to be, I'm not really talking about how to be a femboy. But if you want to be that, you you have to be like that. You can't just consume soy and high amounts of soy and like be a man baby to be a femboy. You don't have to do that. Yeah. That's not what you do. Uh, anyway, uh, and also um, I think. Uh, this one might be this one will be really hard for people, and I've actually noticed lately that I I haven't been doing it. I was doing it for a while, and uh, is uh, mindfulness. I think this one's the most important out of all of them. Uh, mindfulness is like where you're more um, in tune to the present, and you're not uh, thinking about. This is actually no 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 more important than mindfulness. This is this is mindfulness, but this is very more specific. The most important, I think is reject outcome outcome possibilities reject outcome possibilities means uh when we all do this when we like uh let's say you're going to um i don't know like you're gonna uh meet up with somebody that you haven't met before either a friend or or i don't know like let's say it's a date or let's say like you're going in a job interview you, you automatically think what's going to happen. You're like, oh, are they going to be like this? Am I? How am I going to feel at this moment? Am I going to be like this? Uh, reject that. Fuck that. Don't think it. Don't just it's if you crazy. have that thought, just tell it to go fuck itself. Because that is, I think that's the number one. I think that's more important than anything. If you if you stop caring about outcome of things and don't care that the perfect girl the girl of your life doesn't like you or uh oh if you just just reject all of that you'll be fine and not have any anxiety or anything 
and that is something I, I've uh, mastered lately. But uh, mindfulness, while it's talking about being more in tune the present, which is kind of ex- extends to that uh, as in not being in your head as much. Um, that's something I've kind of failed lately. Um, but uh, yeah. for a while, there was doing good. What's that? I, I was just saying, like, I've been failing at that since, like, age eight. You know. <laughs> I when I oh when I was AJ I there was no mindfulness there was no, oh, like I was no. all in my head there was nothing there was I had no sense Age of twelve ish like, yeah. thirteen then yeah. yeah um but uh yeah so those are the basics I'm gonna say those are the basics that's about it uh, also I think uh, goals just uh doing like having like you don't have to have like a strat strategy like a plan, like a very detailed plan, but just like an idea of what you're gonna do for the day, kind of thing, or like kind of an idea. Uh, but um, yeah, those are basic things. I wanted to talk about it because I've I've told these things to people and people I know that have been struggling with things, and for some reason, there's a couple of people that are like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. There's like people that are like, no, I can't, I can't do that. I I, I because of this and this and this and this. And uh, and then I'm like, yeah, that's the problem right there. That's the problem, the fucking issue. You're like, uh, it's like uh, people that are like, uh, you're like, oh, uh, I don't know, like, uh, uh, eat, uh, maybe you should eat better. No, I can't do that uh, because um, I was, I, I'm depressed. Okay, I can't do that. It's like, no, that, that there, there you go. That's that's the issue. You just fucking said it and. Um, yeah, I think just th- stop making excuses for yourself. I think that's a good thing too. Um, I've been uh, per- I've been productive. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm usually good at um, like doing things occupying my time, but I've been really productive lately, and I'm, I try my hardest not to uh, not do anything for a day. I try my hardest, like because that's when I uh, get in my head. And then I start thinking about weird things, like uh, like weird uh, philo- philosophical things, like women don't women like conflict. Like that's when I start thinking about that stuff. These topics. That's when I start thinking about it. And right. I try my hardest not to get not to get to that point because uh, it, it uh, yeah, it's just better. It feels better. Um, that's why uh, people like that are like. Uh, cerebral types are always like fucking like depressed and shit because they're in their heads way too much and so yeah I'm trying my hardest to get out of that um, uh, I'm trying to uh, be uh, uh, the man I, I will eventually become will be uh, David Goggins the, for the, the, the ultimate Sigma male where he's all like uh, where he runs, he 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 has his own marathon runs that last for 39 hours, and he uh, at the end he his legs are broken, <laughs> and he doesn't care, and he's and uh, yeah, like he just does really intense things and doesn't care what happens to him. <laughs> yeah, I get to that. I'm trying to get to that point. That's when I know. That's when I know I'll be comfortable with life. <laughs> Yeah, like I, I might, uh, I might go on a binge of recording music and just drinking like energy drinks till I have to go to the hospital from uh, too much energy drinks and sleep deprivation. Uh, I might do that. That's when I know that uh, I'm, I'm I'm satisfied with life. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do that, dude. That's like on or, my list. I've been lazy by not doing that. Or uh. Or Vincent, I, I have to get, I have to, like, that's what I've been trying, I, that's the type of person, I, I'm not trying to be like these people, like, copying what they do or saying or anything, or, like, their personality or anything, but I'm trying to get into that ethic that a lot of these people do, like, David Goggins or Vincent Gallo, I remember an old interview, he said he works 18 hours a day on his stuff and doesn't care if he sleeps all the time or, like, eats for a day or whatever. Right. Or holds in, or holds in his pee while filming a movie. <laughs> I'm trying to get to that point. You love because <laughs> a long time ago I was never. If you told me that, I'd be like fuck that. But at this point in my life, I have nothing to lose. I'm still young. I can. It's okay. I I, I think it's the right time to. Uh, I don't have to do anything extreme, 
like any of those things, but you know, if it does happen, it happens. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or I won't be swimming in uh like David Goggins swimming in frozen lakes for fun. Um no, yeah, that's yeah. gay. That's retarded. <laughs> I <laughs> won't be doing that. <laughs> or uh, uh, do uh, he's he's like the world the world uh, pull up chin pull up champion, and he like um, he like uh, I think at the end he like uh, his whole like uh, back was completely broken. I think I think he like shitted himself or something. <laughs> he's like the funnest, best kind of retarded to watch, basically. Yeah. <laughs> There's not, there's, I don't know if there is a man on planet Earth that's more based than him. Like, he is, he is like, he is based and like, he's personified. Like, he doesn't care what happens. <laughs> he just fucking does it. You, you just tell him to do, like, oh yeah, run to, uh, like, run to, uh, from LA to, uh, Alaska right now. He'll fucking do it. He's like, okay. <laughs> And he doesn't, like, he just doesn't give a shit. Anyways. Um. Let's see. Oh, da, 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 what's on the list? Because I'm going on longer than I expected. Because of that whole tangent about my ex. Uh. <laughs> um. What does this guy say? Craig has been talking. I'm old. I don't think he's happy or comfortable with himself. Yeah, David, well, David Goggins, his whole, uh, he was, like, a really uh, insecure, like, overweight, like, obese dude or whatever that had a lot of depression, social anxiety issues, and uh, kind of the reason why he he became, like, the polar opposite of who he, who he was, and I, I do kind of respect that because uh kind of reminds me of, I mean, I was never obese, but... Uh, uh, you know, I had like a lot of those like issues and insecurity issues and stuff, and I think that's why I uh, some of the stuff I've been talking about, I've been talking about, but um, but I just it's a lot of there's other people like these season motivators that are like Jocko Willink, who uh, you can tell never had it's all like kind of like a persona they created from like when they were a kid and they just kind of lived with, yeah, so yeah, and I think a lot of it's kind of for attention sort of and so but i don't think david Goggins does it for attention he's just a fucking cra- he was already a crazy fuck and so he decided well I'm, I'm this kind of guy so i might as well uh uh do something productive with it <laughs> so he's like, I might as well... nothing he's done has been productive at all for himself <laughs> productive, for but uh um yeah, not really. He's done nothing to like help anybody. He's just killing himself. <laughs> he's th- he's he's trained people. Has he? He's a trainer. He's, he's a tra- professional trainer. <laughs> he's made he's helped people lose weight and stuff, but he's very intense. Like he <laughs> you don't have to go that mile. He does. <laughs> like you don't have to swim in frozen lakes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video I saw where he's like, I think he might be my favorite human being because he's this fucking like, <laughs> he's so funny. He's so fucking like, I almost respect it because even he, he says that, I think he's even called himself like a crazy retard. Or something. He said it, but he doesn't care. He just goes for it. And he's, there's a video where he's tied, he's tied up and, uh, well, he has, like, military training and stuff, so he kind of knows how to, I guess, untie himself and stuff and, uh, in extreme situations. And uh, he's, he's like, uh, going into this, like, cold water. It's not a frozen lake, but it's, like, a like a cold, like, pond or a uh, lake or something that's really cold. And he's, like, he's like this water, I feel it right now. It fucking sucks. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, just going to do it anyways. Fuck it. And he's, like, tied up. And he goes in the water, and he, it's like he like drowns, like because he's tied, so he's like going down. You see him struggling, like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. He's fucking hilarious. I like his videos he makes on Instagram, where he's like screaming on top of his lungs, and like 
He's like, who's going to carry the boats? <laughs> who's going to what? You don't, you don't know me, son. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like a hot, extremely high functioning schizophrenic and just on yeah. What is this guy? Meaningful. When I think of him, I think about how dealing with people have having meaningful relationships is more painful than anything he does. But maybe he's got the right idea. I feel bad judging. Well, I don't know. I don't really care what he does. But, uh,. Yeah, you shouldn't feel bad for uh, judging him because he is a crazy fuck. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to move on to... Uh, I should probably charge my phone. Uh, move on from uh, that with... Uh, uh, this new thing. There's a new thing. You know how in the 90s uh, there was a uh, heroin chic? You very much. Yes, I know that. Like like Vincent Gallo himself, hey, heroin yeah. figure, maybe the quintessential heroin chic figure, maybe. Mm-hmm. Now there's a. Uh, have you ever heard of it? This is a new thing. There's opioid chic. <laughs> opioid chic. <laughs> yeah, um, the people are considered to be a part of this is like Pete Davidson and like Travis Barker and uh, Machine Gun Kelly or opioid chic. Okay, for so like the first two are just like scummy like losers, <laughs> and Machine Gun Kelly is just like fake basically, and it's kind of lazy to just like say like oh they're fake because that's kind of vague, but like he's yeah. so just like playing a part. It's fine. Yeah, this is a new thing. This is the new thing, and there's a lot of guys that have been developing this look uh, in like the last like few years and. Uh, a lot of, uh, I'm not going to say women, but like be- like beta female and fem cell types really like these type of guys. <laughs> I would have said just, I would have said women in general, but I, I think it's more specific. Like the ones I've seen fetishize over these guys are usually like, like it's like how we were fetishizing over uh, like broken down girls. It's kind of the same thing. It's like the girl version of that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> they want to fix them, basically. Yeah. I they do, but them. they actually want to fix them. They don't just want to, like, get in get in on it real quick before it, you know, gets shopped off to the asylum. Yeah. But uh, uh, do you think opioid chic is uh, attractive? All three of those men you mentioned are like vile. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna say them as an example, but just in general. Well, I mean, like this opioid you. chic thing—it's still vague to me. Like, it's I basically, pretty much like, heroin I picture, chic. It's pretty much. Yeah, I picture chic. heroin chic. But with opioid like chic an added like it kind of looks like they look like uh they 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 pop Xanax all day. They have that look. Okay, yeah. They usually have, they usually have like, fa- they might have face tats. They might have like, they're usually covered, they, they always have covered tats, but they usually like have, might have face tats. Like Lil then, Peep, Lil Peep is like opioid chic. Okay, uh, well that one girl, uh, what's her name? Sorry, you were going to say something? But no, I was just saying that that's kind of what opioid chic is. It's a little more specific, I guess. One girl, the only person I've ever seen with face tats where I was really like, oh, wow, they're beautiful. Was uh, that, you know that Chilji, Ch- Chilji girl? Maybe. She like, uh, she's British and she also, and she's white and she has face tattoos, which is like a pretty like nuts combination. And she like makes music. Uh, maybe, I, I might, I don't know. I know, yeah, like, I, but... I probably do know who it is. Because I've, I've known like too many people over the years like that like uh i think i follow like not my instagram there's so many accounts i follow that i don't even know i'm even following uh, because a long time ago i just spam followed a bunch of random stuff and uh uh so like if i followed like if it was like a uh i don't know like a an alt model i like and then i would i would just like 
then it, when I was at a point where I was like, I'm just going to follow random people, all the other ones would pop up. So I'd just be like, follow, follow, follow. I didn't even know who it was. I did that so I could get follow <laughs> followers to spam follow. Nice. Yeah. So I have a lot of those people just pop up, and I'm like, I don't even remember following this people, this person. Right. But, you know, I don't know. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, um, the, uh, I don't like Pete Davidson. Uh, really, I know I never liked Pete Davidson. I think it's a little weird too. He's uh, he's all of a sudden like people are like he's uh, like because for a while there he was kind of like the punching bag. Like he was like, oh, why is Ariana Grande dating him and stuff? Right and now he's dating Kim Kardashian. They're all like, oh my god. He's so sexy. Why can't guys, more guys look like him? And it's funny too. I, you know why I hate Pete Davidson? It's because I feel like, uh, like, uh, Pete Davidson is like, um, like when I look at him and he actually has, a, I don't know for sure because I don't know him very well, but, uh, uh, like I've just read online and stuff that he has, I guess, say, personality type as me and stuff and then but then when i look at him and stuff i feel like he's like the bizarro version of me really yeah like there's a lot of things where like he almost seems like i he, he kind of i there's things that i feel like i could even play pete davidson in like a movie and i think that there's a lot of things um about him that kind of not really remind me about myself but like like I, I just look at him like, wow, I could have been this person in a negative way. Where I was like, wow, yes, I, all the negative shit. Yeah, I was like, wow, I, I could have been this guy easily, and uh, I'm glad I took a different path. <laughs> path. But I probably would have been, more, uh, I probably would have gotten more uh, femcel putang from it. But uh, right. yeah, I was like, wow. Like I looked at him like, wow, I'm glad I'm not him. And I just think he's annoying. I don't think he's funny. I think he's a, a wussy. Uh, I've seen him like videos of him like getting mad at jokes. And so I hate when any comedian gets mad at shit because uh, it's fucking stupid and hypocritical. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like. I just don't like him. I don't think he's funny. I think he's annoying. I, I think just his voice. Wouldn't. I think he's a. I, I, his voice doesn't match his face. I don't like people where their voice doesn't match their face. <laughs> yeah. I, I just think that uh, everybody who's, like, currently on SNL should just, like, have a weekend at Abu Ghraib or whatever. Just a weekend, just to, like, set them straight. Well, and I, I remember I saw what Tim Dillon said, where he said that SNL now is his Pete Davidson's dating app. <laughs> Which is very true. That's and, true. I like and I think he's a genius. Listen, I think he's a genius. You know why? Because he sleeps with uh, elite women to get advantages, to get to get ahead. He's he's yeah. doing. He figure out that's what women do. He turned himself and, into and a great. whore, but like they're all really hot. Yeah, but no, that's the genius part. Like that's it's like a he he has everything. He's like, oh yeah, I can, and it won't be a big deal because they're attractive. And so he's like, well, but I'll get. That's why you, you all of a sudden see him in everything, because he's he's been sleeping around. But he's, but it, it he, it's smart because he's like been sleeping with like attractive women. So, you know, I can't blame him. I don't know. I I, I can't blame him. I respect the grind. He's like the Jocko, like Jocko Willink says, the grind sharpens the axe. The grind sharpens the axe. Anyways, uh, so yeah, Machine Gun Kelly. Well, he was a. I don't know if he counts. He he was a junkie, or still. A, I don't know. Was he though? I don't even believe that. I don't believe any. He looks like he looked like one physically, <laughs> but maybe it's just an act. I, I remember. I like that uh, one tweet he did where it was like. Uh, I'm 19 and all these like 14 year old girls are yeah. all sexy. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Okay. Cool. Girls, teen girls who like to get. Uh, I no, I'm not gonna say. Wait, what? I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna be me too to infinity. What I was about to say. 
Uh, Not me too, but uh, canceled. Canceled. For what I was about to say. Uh, I'll say it off air. <laughs> I'll say it off air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something that uh, was say. Let's just say something that women secretly like or something. <laughs> something along women those lines. Women secretly like? I'm not, let's move on from it. I'm gonna, I'll tell you about it off air because <laughs> yeah. I'll. If if this gets recovered, I'll be a cancel to affinity. <laughs> what I was about to say. Uh, anyways, but Machine Gun Kelly uh, is weird because a weird case because uh, I remember Machine Gun Kelly a long time ago making music, but he was never really like famous, famous. But it was till he dated Ming Pox, all of a sudden he became like. Now you can't like run away from him. Like, right. It's really weird. Megan Fox is like such a fucking like non entity in my mind. Yeah. Like she's very like pretty. She's got that like pretty where it's just like I mean, yeah, like on like a basic mathematical sort of level, like yeah. you're like a one in a million beauty or whatever. I know, but it's I know what you're saying. Basic. I don't I tend to not uh like uh uh it sounds weird, but I, I tend to not like uh, women like that. Like, I'll, I'll recognize they're attractive, but I'm not, like, really... Act- I'm, I'm attracted to them. Or, no, I think they're... I think they're attractive, but I'm not, like, drawn to them. They don't make you, like, stop, like, you know... Yeah. You're not going weak in your knees over how, like, insanely beautiful this person is. Right? Yeah. yeah. You need a little, like, offset thing. I think that's why I like... Yeah. And I think most I, I almost think too that uh like if you look at a lot of people like married couples and different things, uh not most people like most people that are like with somebody, like let's say it's a conventionally attractive guy or girl or something, and then you have their partner and they they may not be ugly or anything, but uh they're they're like not really like perfect looking, but they're not like ugly, but they're not like perfect looking. And I feel like uh when you actually like i feel like most i think there's a lot of people i mean there's a lot of people who are very shallow when it comes to things but uh i think that's a lot of i feel like there's a lot of people though like most people are attracted to people like the people that are attractive but like there's something off like like i like uh that's why i actually like there's a lot of um british girls i like because people are like they have messed up teeth but i i think some of their messed up teeth cute or something Dude, <laughs> you know I- Yes. Yeah. Or, I think it's not a matter. Yeah. Sorry, what? Or I think too. Um, I'm not just saying. I don't necessarily think. Uh, I have a big nose, but I don't necessarily think. Um, big noses make uh, makes a woman automatically attractive. But uh, I th- like I'm a, I'm attracted to some women that have bigger noses, but I don't. But a lot of people are like that's not attractive. Bigger noses, but I, I, it doesn't I, matter. And that's what I was saying, like, a lot, like, I call people, like, main Fox plain hot, plain hot, where they're just, they're, that's it. <laughs> that's all it is. It's there. It's, like, not bad, but not, uh, not something that's, like, really, it's, like, if you, like, see, uh, cars, it's, like, cars, where you're, like, oh, that's a technically a nice-looking car, but it's not really that aesthetically interesting or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or there's movies like that where I'm like, this is shot really well, but I, I don't really care for the movie. Right. Yeah. I think it's just a matter of like something like I don't it's like what painting would be a little more interesting to look at? Is it like some very sort of odd like abstract straight from the gut sort of deal or is it like a beautiful like landscape and it's like you know eventually you know most people are gonna pick like the more abstract one they might not immediately think they're gonna but like you see what i'm saying that's all yeah 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 definitely um but uh yeah this is gonna be the last topic uh i think this is i think this is a good one to end on because I think we have a lot of opinions on this. Uh, in my notes, so I, I had uh, I have notes right here for just this one, but 
I have I have a no uh, thing on my phone where it's like a notepad where I just have uh just like every topic I would like to talk about on a podcast and it's kind of narrow it down, cherry pick, which I think would be good. And this in my notes, so in these notes, it just says Fantano, but in my phone it says Fantano, <laughs> and then Bruno says Fantano is a beta man. <laughs> That's what it said. Nice. Uh, so I wanted to talk about um, Anthony Fantano, but I wanted to also talk about just him in general, but kind of relating to uh, which happened a while back, uh, the Ariel Pink. Shit. <laughs> um, er, uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, so what happened was, I don't know when, when was this? Like a month ago or something? I don't remember. Uh, he, uh, what did he? What did he? What did he say originally? He a real, a real, not not real pink, but they yeah. say something like he made a tweet like. Conservatives cannot make good art. There's no way or something. Right. And then Dan Arnold Pink say like this guy. This guy. And then, <laughs> I forgot. Did he say? I forgot what the whole back and forth was. I should have looked it up before I even said something. Then he say something. Then Fantano say something back. Like it was a back and forth. I don't know if Fantano ever actually like had any back and forth. Ariel probably because like. Oh uh, yeah. He's too self righteous to fucking talk to yeah. some loser conservatard. You know. <laughs> but uh yeah. I hope uh, video of him saying the N word comes out like very soon. Like he deserves it at this point. Honestly. Um there's a screenshot. Uh this is from probably like a couple years ago. Uh uh he was he made a tweet similar to that, but he was saying how uh He's like, can we? He said something like, can we move on from uh, saying gay? Like, I think he's talking about like rap music, but he's like, can we move on from uh, gay? No, no, no. I'm trying to remember what the tweet was. I don't. I think it was he was responding to somebody saying uh, like uh, that called him out on something, and they call him a faggot. And he's like, it's funny. I was like, really, dude? That's you know, that's going too far. And then somebody's like. Uh, screenshotted it like an old like message from him. He's like, uh, really, this is interesting. Uh, I remember he said something like, I remember trolling. So guys, I remember trolling you a long time ago, and he responded with this as a screenshot where Anthony and Taylor called the guy a faggot. <laughs> and I thought that was really funny. Nice. Uh, yeah, a, a video of him saying the interval will come out, I think, very soon because he uh. Whenever there's these people like that that say this stuff, all this other shit will come out. It's, it's like the, it's like the Jimmy Kimmel thing with the the black face and like the the uh, that old uh, man show sketch where they're making it's a game like a they that is made up game show thing where like women are like what's in my pants and the women have to feel what's in their pants and so um, all this stuff eventually shoots back at them. Like comes back at them, you know. So Anthony Fantino, I feel yeah, I feel like there is gonna be something like that that's gonna come out. Uh, years of not saying a very specific title for a very specific Death Grips record, and he just yeah, hard R, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, uh, <Nice> fly. <laughs> but uh, what do you uh? So uh, you know what's funny is a long uh probably. Like, what year was it? 2018. Uh, I uh, I actually did a podcast with uh, one of his friends. Actually, who? Uh, it was uh, you probably don't know who it is because he he uh, he's not super popular, but uh, he uh, um, he uh, he's appeared in a couple of his videos. Uh, he is uh, his name is Eric the Young God. That's his name. He's a he's a black guy. He's like he's actually you know what's funny? He this is the weird thing. He is the same exact age as me. We have we both have both have the same birthday and birth year. Oh shit. Just fucking insane. It's kind of weird. Um he uh black uh, twin. Yeah. He yeah, he's appeared in a couple of his videos. Like a long time ago. No, I think I saw some with him, yeah. 
Yeah, he did a video on his channel where Fantana wasn't in it at all, where he's telling a story where they went into, like, the ghetto or something, and that Fantano was, like, uh, playing Death Grips, and, like, his neighbors are, like, uncomfortable or something. <laughs> That's what he was Fantano saying. paid but, for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Eric, you can go, uh, I, I did a podcast with him. I actually invited him a long time ago because I thought he was a uh, funny dude. I liked his videos a lot and stuff. He's, did, he's done, like, a lot of, like, funny videos and stuff. Like funny music reviews and stuff, and uh, I was like, "Oh, I could get, I could get this dude." So I asked, asked him, and he said, "Yeah, uh, the podcast isn't bad, but I just get the vibe. I got the vibe that he, like he did not like. I don't know. I don't, he wasn't fucking with me. Like that was the vibe I got. And you got he was kind of like serious, mm. like calm and serious. Because the videos I always say he's always kind of." energetic and kind of goofy and stuff sure. he was not like fucking with me i don't think i don't think he thought that anything i was like asking him or talking about was interesting at all like he just was not um i i mentioned i, I did ask him fantano questions and, I, he, and the thing is he was like that before i even asked him fantano questions he was like that i asked some fantano questions like his relationship and stuff and uh um he didn't really say much about him really yeah but uh um yeah so what was i gonna say about him oh yeah i was telling that story i did a podcast with him but uh yeah what do you think about uh him fantano like being responsible for like don't don't like this like zoom or like music culture i think it's actually kind of annoying i don't know like i don't mind him being uh like a main figure or anything but i i, I don't i i feel like a lot of people like i just they they only listen to, like music just like he talks about or likes a lot like uh yeah i don't know like i think there's people that all they listen to is like death grips and like Brockhampton and JPEG Mafia and Hunter Gex, and then they and then they only listen to uh, uh, later later uh, Tyler the Creator, and that's it. Like that's their music taste, and it's all because of Fantano. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I think I think I I just feel like um, it's finding that people like a lot of stuff. I feel like uh, there's a lot of people like I just, I've seen like music reviewers and stuff that try to be him. And it's just, like, I've just seen, like, they're just clones. Like, it's so copy and paste, like, opinions and everything. And I just think that it's kind of bad. I th it might be similar to, because Anthony Fantano is, it's kind of a weird thing to say, but he's, like, the Roger Ebert of music now, where, you know how Roger Ebert was that guy? Like, he was the go-to kind of critic movie guy. And then there's a lot of people that did formulate their opinion uh, from Roger Ebert and stuff. He had that kind of same effect, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't mind. They both have really black good. wife. They both have black partners, actually. That's yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I just want you know what I want one of these days. I want Anthony Fantano when I put out albums that are popular enough. I want him to review my music, and I want to pull up Vincent Gallo on him. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. I actually have I, I have said I there's a couple of songs where I have said things about Fantano. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. But uh you know um uh what was it say? But uh yeah, I just think it's a little annoying that uh I don't know, like a lot of people like just get all their it's fine to get like music recommendations from, but that's like all like there's some people that formulate their like taste and like personality. From him, and like they just like everything he likes, and don't like everything he doesn't like. Because there's a lot of albums he does not like that I think are pretty great, and there's ones where he really likes that I'm just like, eh. I don't have any issue like when I did watch his content, like most of the albums I never listened to. I just like, I don't yeah, know, it'd be fine. Yeah, I'll watch this, but like I just don't. Like his fucking like. Well, I mean, there's the Ariel shit, and there's like, 
whatever Manson shit. And like he was all like one of those people that's all like on the the baby's case. And I I have a rule from here on out that like anyway, Oh yeah, I watched his uh shit he saw about like Manson and stuff too. Right. Was, on the yeah. Donda review. Yeah. Oh my god, and his words he used like um Yeah like, Kanye's like doing like maybe like a redemption thing, but like to do something that like shits on like the LGBTQ community and like sexual abuse survivors is whack as fuck. He said whack as white boy said whack as fuck, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like shut the fuck up. Yeah, you don't know no, that's my that's those are my main issues with him. That's actually my main issue with him is like stuff like that. I think I just get the. Uh, I think too. I I. I think a lot of people. Don't I think there's a lot of like younger people that watch his videos or, uh, like easily impressionable people maybe because, a lot of like maybe creative types watch his videos and a lot of those people might have insecurity issues so, like they might not even notice those things. Uh, but I notice those things because I, uh, yeah, I just notice those things. Like I, I can read people. And so I just, that's why like a lot of the stuff like he says kind of, uh, does not sit well with me. Just like, it, it's just kind of, I don't know. There's like something sad about it. Like, uh, he released, I, I feel like he's just trying to, it's, it's like, uh, you can tell he's trying to be like, um, he, he wants to be the fucking like, uh, like a leader of some, like uh, either social justice or not necessarily social justice, but like something where he thinks, yeah, like if I say this and like I, I'm gonna get some recognition, there's gonna be people following. Like if you read his tweets, that's that's the impression I get. He's that kind of guy. Like he's like, yeah, he just like, he wants to be loved and he wants affection, like the rest of us. I yeah, I, a video of his. Um, do you know that song by uh, the microphone? Just uh. What what's the title? It's that you know, like I thought I felt your shape, but I was wrong. Really, all I felt was. Something. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I've <laughs> listened to the microphones, but I'm not super familiar with their music. Me neither. I but I, you know, it's a good song. I like that song. Yeah. Or whatever. And I, you know, was sort of scrolling through like recommended videos. Guess who released when, in back in like 2010 or something a cover of that song? Fantano. Fantano. And I just thought, like, how interesting that he covers such a simple, you know, quiet, melodic song. And, like, the whole thing is shot, like, you can't see his face, but you just see him, like, playing the guitar. And he's a little sensitive. And, like, this is where now he's all Mr., you know, big cock protector of fucking yeah. whoever the fuck. Yeah. And, like, but it, he... It, it always starts off with little little white boy strumming his guitar, singing that indie rock. His bass guitar. Oh, his bass. He's a decent bass player. Yeah, that's and he does. I I had followed him. I actually unfollowed him not because of any of this stuff, because I follow people. But there's like you. There's like YouTubers I follow that I don't even actually watch or anything. Because just because I don't know. I just follow him just because. Thanks. I followed. I I unfollowed him because it was vibe checks. I fucking unfollowed. I was like, I'm, I'm so sick of this shit. Every day, I'm just gonna see you. Like, listen, I have, I own a lot of clothes that are like either uh, very fashionable or kind of um, quirky, or I own a lot of shit. Right. But I'm not gonna fucking go on Instagram every day. I'm taking pictures of my clothes, but I'm not gonna go every fucking day. Like, hey guys, look what the hoodie I'm wearing today. Yo guys. Hey guys, look at the next jacket. Look, hey guys, look, look. Check out the new Death Grips merch I'm rocking. Yeah, yeah, it's just every day, and it's like vibe check. And then I, I will like read stuff where he's like judging people's clothes. Like, I don't know, it's just annoying. It's like, just I hope stop. he finally just gets to suck off MC Ride and just like quit his job. That's all he wants, I think. I think yeah. he just wants to just like, you know. Take a ride, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, Fantano. And Sam Hyde did that great diss track to Fantano. He's never responded. Do you see that? The Anthony Fantano diss track? No, Sam Hyde's an interesting figure to me because he's yeah. like sort of a – he's communism, man. He's a specter that looms over my my little world. Yeah. He's just hanging around somewhere. There. He's He eludes me a little bit. Yeah, but he's – He's. I, I used to uh, watch his videos a lot when I was younger, but uh, he he did that Fantano diss track, which is really funny. He's he says stuff. And he looks funny too. It's like a genuinely good like technical like rap song. Like he put a lot of effort into it, and the music video like there's a lot of effort putting it put it into it. And he's all like the lines are like uh, <laughs> almost every lyric is about killing Fantano. Good. And he's all like I. He's like uh, he said. Uh, He's like, I'll kill Fantano with my right hand on the Bible, or something. He's all like, uh, I shoot him as I, I shoot him in his balls so he doesn't pee. I forget what he said. No, I'll shoot out his knees. I'll shoot him in his balls so he doesn't pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I wish I had the confidence as like a white guy to rap. You know, <laughs> that's a special yeah. kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I do, but I'm, I'm like uh, that. I always forget that I'm like uh, brown white. <laughs> I'm brown white. But It'd be uh, easier I, for you, I think. You don't have to deal with the same type of prejudice that my people do. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm brown white. Uh, and so, and brown white always uh, mix with, uh, usually always mix with the blacks. They always fit in with the blacks. And, uh, uh, well, Vince Gallo is not brown looking, but he's like technically brown white. You know what and they say why, about. That's why he fits in. That's why he fits in with the blacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's why uh, I think, uh, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Because I, I I have to I have to get going, but uh uh um this is a thought I had because I, I uh, you know how like um uh, Vince Gallo uh you know there's a lot of people there's people that think he's attractive but there's a lot of people that think, and he calls himself ugly there's there's even people where he's like he's ugly he's creepy looking or he's ugly and a lot of the things they say he's ugly for is like certain physical things and it's like the same stuff that uh people say I'm, I'm ugly or I've had a lot of people like wow you're ugly like and, and then a lot of white uh white Anglo-Saxon women don't like um uh like um uh, Mediterranean or like Italian men I guess or whatever mm. I'm uh I'm, I'm kind of Italian but I'm mostly Spanish and French and we have uh we have the the big nose and uh the greasy hair and uh yeah, a lot of women I guess don't find that attractive at all. And that's why and I, I, I really I I feel for Vince, I feel for Gallo. I feel for him. I know it's, it's like <laughs> Yeah. But I don't my nose isn't as big as as his. I would kill to look like Vincent Gallo. Are you kidding me? I yeah. just look very bland, like really vaguely well. Irishy, maybe, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how long has this been going on. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> the last one I did with uh, my friend Carlos was like only an hour. I think uh, we got through it pretty quick. But uh, uh, anyways, my ending words are: uh, go out, do shit. Uh, go out, do shit. Have fun, uh, do drugs, uh, have unprotected sex, and I'll see, I'll see I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Yeah. How do you end this shit? Oh, there you go.